Reprints for Resurgence Booster? Hot or not? The Digimon Trading Card Game website has been updated with the official reprint list of all cards set to be reprinted in Resurgence Booster. For this video, I'll be covering the changes observed through the list. Following that, which reprints I think are the best, and which reprints should not have been reprinted. Frankly, there are quite a number of cards that Bandai has reprinted up to this point. Some a ridiculous number of times, and others not so much. For the major changes, you may have combed through the list already looking for the major ones, to which there are only three. Number one, BT3 Wormmont is not shown in the reprint list for the English trading card game. Number two, Blinding Ray, a fan favorite is also not on the list. Instead, this slot has been filled with Pollen Spray. However, I do want to give this one a few days to confirm, mainly because this is one card away from Blinding Ray and it is possible that this was input incorrectly on the site. Because let's be real, Digiburst is not heavily supported, nor is it that heavily played. And number three, the last card, being Mechanorimon, is no longer on the list. Overall, the only change I'm disappointed with is Blinding Ray. This card has largely become a staple in the Digimon trading card game because of Merva Cross. Having a rarity bump to this card would have not only been nice, but to have it more readily available as well. The other two, I'm not really upset about. But moving to the most valuable cards for the reprints, this segment of the video will be a little longer. Level 2 wise, great options in the form of Upamon, Koopimon, Demimerimon, and Koromon are the biggest heavy hitters. Demimerimon is still one of the priciest and best eggs of purple decks. Likewise, for Greymon decks, Koromon are always a plus, whether you're playing Greymon Toolbox, Raid War Greymon, Black War Greymon, or even Shine. For level 3s, I'd have to say that BT2 Salamon, BT2 Gabumon, Tapirmon, BT3 Vmon, and Floodgates are all great reprints, with my favorite going to the starter deck Patamon. While you may argue some of the promo cards were needed, not a lot of them still see play to this day. In the level 4 category, my top two picks are Promo Garurumon and Starter Deck 1 Greymon. Though in my personal opinion, I do think both of these cards could be due for restriction just based on their general use and splash ability. Not a lot of level 4s are still played here, but hey, a rarity bump is a rarity bump. I'm not gonna lie, the level 5s are a tad disappointing. Outside of Magna Angemon from BT1, the rest aren't really worthwhile unless you've missed out on collecting, or want the rarity bling for Angemon, Blossomon, and Lady Devimon. And while yes, where Garurumon is back, remember, it's still limited to one. For the level 6s, Lilithmon might be the only one I like here. While Diabormon can be used in a Diabormon deck, it has been reprinted so many times in Oblivion that it is widely available. Needless to say, stop printing this Bandai, please. For the last of the Digimon, it's Blitz Omnimon, Omnimon Zwart, Omnimon X from BT5, and Zwart Defeat. Literally all Omnimons from BT5. Of all these cards, Blitz Omnimon still sees the most play. Zwart Defeat was higher, but hasn't seen as much play recently and as a result has come down significantly. Overall, Blitz Omnimon is the best card here, but... That's just my opinion. Option card wise, Memory Boost will be nice as a reprint, but at the same time older set cards don't hold much value unless you're a mandatory 4 of, in the case of Gravity Crush or Blinding Ray, which neither is being printed. Though again, Kaiser Nail and Kokaitis Breath are great reprints, especially because they were only available in a starter deck. And finally, of your Tamers, Tai Kamiya, TK Takashi, Mimi Tachikawa, Kari Kamiya, and Sora and Joe take the slots for best Tamer picks. The rest are alright, but generally speaking, there are so many cards that could have used a reprint instead. But the question is, is it the timing, or is it Bandai's choice? Frankly, I feel that RB1 as a set won't be as big of a huge sale considering the main decks you could build are lower tier and not all reprints are high money chasers. Assuming our packs will be like Japan's, there will be an assortment of 13 cards total in each pack. Of which, 8 of those cards will be a combination of common and uncommon cards, 
Two slots go to rares, which of your reprints, your most expensive ones are the tamers. One slot goes to promos, which of these, Garurumon and where Garurumon, take the best card in the slot for me here. Because remember, Agumon and Greymon are considered part of the main set. One super rare, secret rare, or alternative art? Mmm, oh man. There are just too many here. High end, you could see Lusamon being like an $8 secret rare reprint. But your low end reprint here could be like 50 cents, in the case of cards like Craniumon. And one index card, I'm guessing like an information memory gauge like the olden days. Realistically, I would say your average pack return rate is going to be like maybe $3, $4, considering some of the lower end cards. Meaning in a box of 24 cards, you could be seeing overall box values of every Blingdo card come out to $72. But my personal opinion, pick up singles you want or need. I wouldn't recommend cracking cases unless you're a store or someone who can resell in a timely fashion. For me personally, you'll see me cracking open at least a case to show some pull rates. Some might get sold, but a lot of these I plan on using for the upcoming giveaway. My final thoughts are that I feel that a majority of cards from this reprint booster set are antiquated, and at this point feel that the reprint booster should have dropped earlier after BTA, because so many cards aren't played anymore. Rather, Bandai could have brought back cards as well from BT6 and BT9. What are your thoughts? And where do you stand on the reprint set? Let me know your thoughts, and as always, thank you so much for your support. This is Digipanda, logging out.